So here's some more gold. I also ran out of disk space on my hard drive again. I'm recording so much Minecraft that my computer can't even handle it, you know? All right, so there's 29 gold, which is awesome. So now with this pickaxe, this whole process sh should really be a lot easier, like a whole lot easier. That's the plan at least. So if I, and I can't really lose this stuff, not only because of the tombstone feature, but also slime. Slime, hi buddy. Hi little buddy. How are you? Oh, you hurt me. Okay, never mind. You don't hurt me though. Hi little buddies. Hi. Um, it allows me to not lose my stuff because netherite stuff floats in lava. So even if I toss my stuff into lava, it's not gonna not gonna go away, which is very, very cool. I'll take more of this iron. I guess do I need do I even need iron anymore? I mean maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's fine. So Another cool thing that I noticed about a villager that was uh, nearby in that village is that I can actually... Ooh, diamonds. Cool. I can also... Look at that. See? I mined up one piece of diamond, and I got two. Wonderful. Um, and that one, I only got one, so I only got three total, which is totally fine. So there was a villager that exchanges for um, name tags, which is very, very cool. And it's not a very common set of... Or it is a common set of items that the villager trades for. So... Now I can get name tags super easily as well. And name, basically, whoever and whatever I want to. So, that's how you feel. So, I, I can basically name as many things as I want to as well, which certainly helps for uh, any, any like, animal friends that I want to have in the area, in the vault, I should say, and then villagers and all that. So, that's super convenient as well. So all of this is good stuff. Now I'm finally in a position where I feel like I can be invincible, do whatever. I mean, maybe not invincible because I still die clearly to like hoglins and moblins and boblins and whatever. But like, you know, I'm better off, you know, I'm doing okay. So here we go. More gold. I have 37. That's decent, you know. I also don't, I don't really know if, ha I'll leave the iron for now, whatever. I don't know if having um, the different rarities matters with how much... Ooh, yellow axolotl. That's cute. Hi, buddy. Uh, can I possibly get you? Yeah, I mean, I could. I need to find... Yeah, I could. Hold on. I can get that axolotl. Hold on. The yellow one. He's a little, a little cute. A little cutie. All right. So I basically... Wait. Okay, I need to craft one of these. Crafting table, of course. Not that I needed to make more, you know stone or rather you know, wood but you get the idea uh let's see here and luckily yes because this is not a fortune pickaxe i can actually mine up the cobblestone from here which is exactly what i want i'm surprised i haven't added it as a feature in minecraft that you could make a what's it here a a stove out of regular stone i'm surprised i haven't done that i figured that would be a nice thing for them to do you know just because cobblestone and stone they're pretty common and like you know i don't know why you would actually need it oh you can use deep slate cobble okay interesting so i'll smelt down three of these snag this axolotl over here in yellow which i don't believe is any more rare or common it's not more rare than the other axolotls that are out there but still the oh i have a bucket right here i'm a dummy all right well okay hi get in get in the bucket there we go so now i have three axolotls cute and they're not they're not like a rare mob right they're not a rare mob they're it's fine okay uh 37 gold i can get another uh a, 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 what's it called netherite item if i want to which i will and i'll get back to the area and enchant this stuff and we'll be rocking and rolling you know i want to look something up real quick hold on rail so if i want to make a regular rail look how exp oh you make 16 of them i mean all right well I thought it was six iron, one stick for one rail. And I'm like, that's really expensive. But for 16, yeah, that's that's not bad. So one of the other farms that I have been encouraged to make by Sir Brandino is to do an iron farm. So I think that one might be a little bit more difficult than, uh, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Basically, the, the iron farm, I believe, requires other things not necessarily in your control. It just kind of has to work. At least with the Enderman farm, it makes it so it, it, it is very automatic and it is super, super easy by comparison of everything else. 
I did make this so it, it just kind of dives in this way, because why not? So um, the wind outside is blowing around all of the, the trash that I put outside, so I'm going to have to go after that in a second here and be a responsible adult instead of inadvertently littering. Definitely don't want to do that, but anyways, uh, I'm going to toss this actually right in there. There we go. Uh, not that that matters at all, but anyways, I am going to level some stuff up, uh, combine the gold with the netherite and the things, and uh, be on our way to making a iron axe, or rather, netherite axe. So yeah, I have a little area where I can put stuff, basically, and uh, the wind is blowing very nicely today. I'm going to make that uh, diamond axe right there. Uh, it's blowing all the way around, and it's actually super nice out. What's the temperature outside? It's We're thawing out of the wintertime. It is 55 degrees. I... I don't want to be indoors playing video games. I really don't. I want to be outside, but alas, duty calls. I mean, I could go outside. I could. I could touch grass if I really wanted to, but like, you know, I don't want to be known as a grass toucher when I can be playing more Minecraft. It's much better than being outside, right? I mean, it's not quite there yet. Like, my ideal temperature for being outside doing activities and stuff is like 70, even 80. I'll take 80. 80 is decent. Why is this light off? There we go. Um, I don't know why that light was off. But yeah, 80 degrees is probably the maximum it could be at. Like anywhere from anywhere from 50 to 80, I'm good. Anything higher than like 80, I'm like, all right, I'm getting a little a little sweaty and not a good way. You know, I want to be I want to be cool, calm, collected and relaxed. You know what I mean? That's basically where I'm at. Boom, netherite axe. Look at that. One, two, three, four. That's all I need. So the only the only one that's left is a netherite hoe, which you actually get an achievement for that fun fact. I actually haven't looked at the advancements at all. All this stuff over here. Um, I never bother with any of this. It's like a spyglass. Look through look at a gas through a spyglass. Interesting. <laughs> is it a bird? Is it a get is it a balloon? Right. It's a bird. It's a plane, right? Um have every potion effect applied at the same time? Yeah, that's a very impossible one to get. Anyways, so there's all that. All this gold can be smelted down. That'll be smelted down, no problem. Um, Yeah, that's my ideal temperature, you know, because anything more than that, then you start sweating and it's all bad, you know, and then the humidity is also a thing. But that's how you know, fun fact for you, that's when you know you're getting super old, when the only thing you talk about with other people is the weather. That's when you know... You just ran out of topics. You have nothing interesting going on in your life. You should try at all costs, if possible. Make sure you never talk about the weather in detail, in depth. You're like, oh, man, you know, that's the lowest common denominator for two people in any capacity ever for all of times. Because we all experience the weather, right? It's not like, you know, you go down to the local sub shop and then... The guy that made your, your chicken parm sub is experiencing different weather than you are because you live in the, about the same vicinity, right? So it's not like you're getting revolutionary new insight when talking to somebody about the weather. It's, it's always like the thing you talk about in conversation for a lack of conversation. So I would encourage you to find other things to connect with people on, whether that be literally anything, literally anything at all. And then you could you could just have a better connection with people. You could have more interesting things to talk about than the weather. You know, you shouldn't shouldn't ever resort to that, you know? But anyways, I thought I had my Elytra on. I keep forgetting. So in the Bob SMP, I always had the Elytra on, basically. And then uh, sometimes I run out of rockets. And then I'd, I'd glide, and then I'd accidentally not have enough, and then fall and die. So that would be bad. So uh, to supplement those rockets, actually... One of the things that may be useful is to have a... Uh, by the way, I'm going to give it a sec. Yep, okay. So this is going to be very loud. Um, the thing that might be super helpful to have is actually a um, a creeper farm. And a creeper farm is a, a little bit more complicated in the sense that you need to... Um, you need to get a bunch of cats, essentially. Because fun fact for you, uh, cats are actually... Or rather, creepers are afraid of cats. There's a lot of weird things like that, like including at the top up there, right? The grub is actually um, something that the Endermen are afraid of for whatever reason. No idea, but they are. So that happens with cats and creepers as well. So there you go. 
Um, other than me slicing up Enderman, today has been a... Uh, I've, I've been in a funk. Been in a little bit of a funk. Not gonna lie to you. I don't know why. I just... Well, I know why. It's a lot of... A lot of uh, things that are stressful beyond my control. They're just kind of there, you know? And the best way to deal with stress is either one of two things. Work your butt off constantly, which I don't recommend because then, you know, you're just working and not taking a break or doing whatever. But the main thing that I do as I slice away these Endermen is uh, reflect on the fact that, yes, uh, I am having a bad day and that is okay. Um, eventually, this day, this too shall pass and I shall have a better grip on whatever situation I'm going through tomorrow. I will feel better tomorrow. I'll be more uh, well rested. I will not binge eat any fast food, which is what I was tempted to do today. Very tempted, but I can feel, in addition to me not shaving the neck beard down here, I can also feel the pounds coming on a little bit in just my face. And I'm like, man, this is not, uh, this is not what I want. So I gotta be uh, a little bit more diligent about that, be a little bit better in that way, you know? So anyways, regardless, I've been doing better than most i could be better but now that the weather is actually turning around not to harp on the weather too much but i do feel myself feeling more energized when it is a a higher temperature outside you get outside and just existing in the world is a big thing for me you know i want to be amongst people socializing when i have the energy to do so when i'm if i'm well rested i'm ready to rock and roll if I'm not, then it's Looney Tune Disaster Town. You don't want to deal with me on that. So, anyways, before I continue with that, you got the Netherite Shovel Unbreaking, Efficiency Fortune 2, holy Toledo, Batman. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at this one, Unbreaking 3, uh, Efficiency 3. Beautiful. So I can get up to Efficiency 4, which at that point, by the way, is semantics. Like, the difference between Efficiency 3 and 4 I'm going to get mending on this eventually. It's never going to break. You know, you can max out your armor for the sake of maxing it out, but, like, you're not really going to, you know? It's just it's just for the sake of doing it, you know? So at this point, with everything that I have, the only thing I could add, actually, let me see if I have it in here. Unbreaking. It might be in here. Uh, let's see. Efficiency. Depth strider. No. No. Uh, efficient. No. Efficiency won't work, right? Basically, if I try to combine this and this, yeah, no. So I need unbreaking for the for the elytra. For the elytra. That's what I need. So actually, no, I just need to pop it out of here, right? I need I need to find it inside of here. Make this happen this way. I don't have any books on me, so that's great. Not that I need the books, but like, you know, that'd be helpful. So I get to level 30 and basically call it there. At this point, like, I don't know what the next logical step is going to be. I mean, firstly, I can cap this off right here and make it like, look a lot nicer uh but after that point i don't know i just kind of think about what i want to do next you know make think oh you're just chilling over here all right buddy hi buddy oh you're mad oh you're very mad okay um well for some reason the utterman is still there like looming even though he's dead um i'll need to get rid of that block eventually a lot of this stuff like i don't i don't necessarily uh it's not required. It's just a matter of making it look nice now. I may want to look into doing that creeper farm because that would be a great way to get a bunch of rockets so I can travel across the surface a lot more easily. And then there's a lot of those destination locations I haven't showed you on camera before, like going over to a, uh, you know, a temple in the desert, in a jungle, another mansion. Not that I need to be at a mansion, but like, you know, they're a thing. I uh, haven't done any raids at all. Zero raids have actually unfolded. I don't even know where I've seen a, uh, a, a what's it called? The the thing. Outpost. The the Illager Outpost. I don't even know if I've seen one of those. So, um, what I'll do, I might just clear out this library right here, enchant all these books, and just, I don't know. I'll figure out what to do next, all right? I want to thank you for listening, watching. Ooh, does this fortune work? Oh, they just fell. If that's how you feel. No, it doesn't work on this stuff. Okay. The reason it doesn't work on that is because it's a, I think it's a predetermined amount. Oh, they're all just like under here. Okay, cool. Um, my name has been Brian Saviano Brick. So, Brian, hopefully you are doing as well as you can with everything going on in the world. It gets more Looney Tunes by the day. 
But, you know, here we are persevering and meowing it out, playing some games and trying to live the best lives that we can, you know? I'll see you again next time for more Minecraft, more videos, more whatever shenanigans shall unfold in the near future. But until then, stay groovy, all right? Bye.